today on his 2005 Honda CRV. We're going to install part number 75690 from Draw Tight. This is a 2 inch Class 3 trailer receiver hitch. Now, this is what the hitch looks like when it's installed on our Honda CRV. Next, we'll give you some measurements to help you out in selecting some accessories, such as a ball mount, a bicycle rack, or a cargo carrier. From the center of a hitch pin hole to the outside edge of the spare tire, eight and three quarter inches. And from the top of the receiver opening down to the ground, it comes out to 14 and three quarter inches. Now I'll go ahead and show you how the hitch is installed. To start our install, we need to get the vehicle ready. To do that, we need to go ahead and lower the exhaust. To lower our exhaust, there's a couple of rubber hangers here and here that we need to spray down with some lubricant. And then we'll go ahead and pry them off and we'll lower the muffler out of the way. We'll use a pry bar to help pry off the rubber hangers. On this one, we have to kind of push forward and slide it off. Now, just in front of the axle, we'll go ahead and spray this hanger down as well to give us a little more room. At this point, we can go ahead and show you where the hitch mounts up to the vehicle. They'll use this hole here and this one here. These are identical holes over on the passenger side as well, just above the muffler. This tow hook in the center, we get to use that too. Our hardware needs to be installed in the frame here and here. This block eventually needs to be on the inside. However, it won't fit through the hole, so we'll have to enlarge it. Now, there's a variety of ways of enlarging the hole. You can drill a hole out right next to it to give us enough working room. You can pry it open or you can go ahead and use a cold chisel and make a notch in it as well. Now, we just need to make a dent in here, really. We don't have to make a big hole. Perfect. Driver's side's done. Do the same thing on the passenger side. Let's go ahead and show you how the hardware works with the hitch. First off, we got this carriage bolt and this plate. This is what gets installed into the frame of the vehicle. And then the hitch goes onto it. Then a conical tooth washer. And you notice the teeth on here, they always face towards the hitch. And then a nut. Now this will be the same on these two holes here on both sides of the vehicle. And then our U-bolt, of course, is going to be a little bit different. Or you bolt will sit through, we'll go over a tow loop and then through the hitch with the lock washer and a nut. Okay, to help us install our hardware, we're going to use this pull wire that comes with the hitch. We'll go ahead and run through the hole we're going to use first, then out the larger hole for our access. Put our block into place. And then our bolt. Go ahead and pull it on through slowly. Now you get four of these bolt leaders. It may be a good idea to leave these on as you put the hitch up. Now this set of hardware, we're just going to push through the hole and right back down. So we'll go ahead and thread our bolt leader on first and put the pieces in. Pull back through. This is also known as a reverse pull. With the exit of the hands, take the hitch, push it over the muffler and then line up the bolts. Okay, we get one loosely started on each side. Now when you put your hitch up, it's also a good idea to make sure your rubber hanger is in place. So otherwise this, this hook will be trapped by the hitch. You won't be able to re put this back into place.
All right, now these bolts are a little bit on the short side, so you have to have some pretty good patience to go ahead and get this nut started. Let's go ahead and sneak in our few bolts. Leave the hitch, you still want to leave the hitch loose so you can install your hardware. It may help to put an extra finger on top of the U-bolt to help, help hold it in place. While our hardware loosely installed, we'll go ahead and tighten them down and we'll torque them down to specify the instructions. To tighten down our half inch bolts, we'll need to use a three quarter inch socket. We'll use a short socket on the driver's side and we'll use a deep well socket on the passenger side. Now we tighten up our U-bolts. We want to tighten up evenly on both sides. We'll go ahead and reinstall our exhaust now. Now with the hitch with the hitch in place, it makes it a little bit hard to put this hanger back up in here. So you may want to go ahead and take a, an extension and put it on the end of a pin right here for the hanger and bend it up a little bit to make it a little bit easier to line up. Whatever deep well socket works just fine and a really long extension. And you can manipulate it. Okay, now we'll go ahead and reconnect our exhaust. Give it some more leverage on it. We'll take a screwdriver, just kind of rotate it out of the way. Yeah, push it up into place. Okay, with our exhaust reinstalled, that'll finish it for our draw tight hitch, part number 75690 on our 2005 Honda CRV.